Why? Why, oh God, why? In today's video we're gonna talk about two new rumors, one from a game I really want to see revived and the other is from Battlefield 6, so let's get into it right away. If I could make a list of games that I think would absolutely never come back from the dead and simply be forgotten over the years, there would be many, for example The Order 1886, or The Sabotar, or Max Payne, but also one that is being talked about heavily right now as we speak. Who would have ever thought we would be talking about this beautiful action-adventure game again, or should I say this franchise, because Crytek, Quitters of Crisis and On Showdown are once again heavily rumored to be working on a sequel to Rise Son of Rome, with new details that just got revealed. If you would make a top 10 video of underrated games, this one would 100% be in my top 3 of the list. Back years ago when the Xbox One officially launched, Microsoft needed a handful of titles that would help their console compete with Sony's day one lineup of games for the PS4. The competition was extremely strong at the time, like it is starting to be more and more today, with Xbox catching up to PlayStation with Game Pass. Unfortunately, the Xbox One launch had to be one of the biggest fail in gaming history, with the classic controversy of Microsoft wanting this console to be more concentrated on movies, television shows, and other unnecessary things just like that. Microsoft of course backtracked from this, and Rise Son of Rome was among this mess, and failed to be successful thanks to this controversy. That is, until the project released on PC a year later, which it received a handful of applause for being a much better game than what people thought. Not only did the PC experience took full advantage of the game's graphics and overall animations and fight, but it showed a third-person Roman game people had wanted for years. Now, eight years after its official release on the Xbox One, which is right now, a sequel to Crytek Rise from 2013, Rise 2, is supposed Supposedly in the works, and it could very well be a multi platform title if we're to follow this popular game insider. Not only that, but last year I had already reported on another rumor from this same Rice sequel, which was from another popular insider, so this is not the first time we're hearing about this. Xbox Era's Nick Baker on YouTube now says to have heard extremely similar talks according to his sources. In the most recent Xbox Era podcast, this insider says that he already heard about a new Rice back in July of last year, which was way before the first Rise rumor popped up. This insider source again reached out to him about the Rise sequel just recently, saying the game is the real deal and is indeed in development as we speak, just kept secret for now. Here's what he had to say. I had a reason to believe that this source was legit, because they then showed me certain things that made me believe they were on the level. So of course the thing I got excited about the most was the fact that a new rise is in development. So this person told me, yep there's a new rise in development, I can't give you dates and I can't give quarters of when things are happening, just that there's a huge rise game in development. And like I said I've been given pictures of stuff that leads me to believe this person is legit. So the inside Tider also says that if a new Rise is indeed coming out, this sequel may definitely be multi-platform game for PS5, Xbox Series X and PC. Not just Xbox and PC a year later, but every big consoles. If this is all true, it really is a shame it took 8 years for people to realize it is a worthy game that has huge potential for a franchise. The graphics, animation, combat and story of Rise in 2021 can absolutely hold up to any game. Sure it had a short story, but they could quickly change that with its sequel. They can also upgrade the hack and slash combat and make it more realistic. Overall there is a ton of potential here and I really hope the sequel gets announced one day or another. Crytek making an announcement like this will totally surprise just about everyone. Next up we have a brand new leak from the upcoming Battlefield 6, which seemed to align with the past leak from just days ago from a popular insider by the name of Tom Anderson, which revealed things like huge maps with catastrophic events like tornadoes, volcano eruption and such. In a new Battlefield 6 leak on Reddit, a user claims they have a contact at Dice LA who has revealed new information about Battlefield 2021. The leaker themselves has warned readers to take everything they say with a pinch of salt, as 
their source has not seen or played the game. Let's get into the details, but keep in mind this might definitely be fake, but only time will tell. This leak says Battlefield 2021 is indeed set in the 2030s, but that alone doesn't describe the setting well enough. The world is more or less destroyed by weather altering technology and a second cold war between US and Russia. You do play as soldiers from fallen nations like Tom Anderson claimed. These fallen nations are the primary setting of maps in the game. The setting of the maps will have either a war-torn, post-apocalyptic or destroyed by natural disasters and reclaimed by nature look to them. Not all fallen nations have a map in the game though. Each fallen country is allied to either US or Russia. For example, Japan, South Korea and Israel are allied with US. China and Iran are allied with Russia. The leaker source insisted on this and says that Tom Anderson is wrong about it. The game will launch with 13 maps, with an additional map set to release a month later. All of the maps are set in Eurasia, which means they are set in Central and East Europe, Middle East and East Asia. Middle East and Europe are more heavily featured in there. None of the launch maps are set in North or South America, Africa and Russia. The US and Russia don't fight directly against each other on any of the maps. Players can pick from a multitude of different factions from each side on each map. Not all factions will be available for each map though. All the maps are primarily designed around 128 player conquests. This leak also says there's going to be no vehicle spawn screen. You gotta go to a vehicle to get it. You will automatically be switched to a vehicle specific class once you enter them. This does not apply to transport vehicles though. Conquest is also said to be a bit different now. You still capture in different points, drain tickets and spawn on your captured points. But there are a multitude of side objectives that pop up during the course of the map. These objectives pop up when certain ticket count is reached for each team, but they appear in a random order during each match. Multiple objectives appear at the same time. The person source did not specify what all of these objectives would be, but they were told about some of them. Completing these objectives gives you points and advantages. For example, there is a hacking objective where you hack a device and it reveals enemy player location on a big chunk of the map around that device. The enemy can disable and even destroy this objective. Assault, Engineer, Support and Recon will all return as classes but each class will have multiple subclasses that will have different gadgets, perks and guns. Not all the classes have the same number of subclasses. Assault has two subclasses while Support has four. The subclasses each play different roles on the battlefield. The game is also said to feature weapons all the way back from Cold War era to prototype weapons that are in development right now in real life. It will also feature powerful weapons and gadget as battle pickups on the maps. They will always be in fixed locations on the maps. The battle royale component of the game is being developed by DICE LA and is targeted for launch sometime in March 2022. It's free to play and tied to the main game just like Warzone. Alright guys, all these details sound pretty interesting but we will have to see for when it is officially revealed. Let me know what you think of it for now. Alright guys, for more gaming news just like this, drop a like on this video and of course subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kianzo Fagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Spacebeer Gaming, and Rush Singbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.